Good evening, everyone. The Upper Peninsula has seen plenty of great sports moments this year, including state champions. In part one of our sports year in review, TV6's Ethan Schmidt takes us from the Wildcats Huskies rivalry in basketball to a pair of state champions. The Northern Michigan Michigan Tech rivalry kicked off the 2016 sports year with battles on the hardwood. On February 1st, the NMU women stunned the Huskies on a last second layup by Brie Gasperovich to give the Cats a 71 69 victory in Marquette. The Michigan Tech men would spoil the NMU sweep that night, though, as the Huskies won by 13 points. Later that month, the action moved to Houghton and it was all Huskies. Michigan Tech women won 80 to 38 to clinch a share of the GLIAC North title, and the Michigan Tech men swept the rivalry with an 85-75 victory. Before February ended, the Marquette ski teams dominated the slopes. The Redmen, led by Joe Weber, went on to win their fourth straight state championship, while the Redettes turned a third place regional finish into a state championship at Marquette Mountain. We did really well today. I um, In slalom, we got three top five finishes out of six girls. In March, the Michigan Tech Huskies hockey team would sweep their home and home series with NMU and also grabbed a share of the McNaughton Cup for the first time in 40 years. The UP continued their hockey dominance in March as the Hancock Bulldogs defeated the 17-time state champions, the Cranbrook Cranes, before knocking off Grand Rapids Catholic Central to claim their second state title in the school's history. Feels great. I mean, it has, I was even born the last time a state championship was here. It feels unbelievable. Yeah, it's uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, you got you got people from every other town even if they're not from Hancock supporting us, which is huge. I mean, in the big chant down in Plymouth was UP Power, which actually meant a lot to us. And before March could end, another state championship trophy returned to the UP as the North Central Jets basketball team won their second consecutive state championship in Class D and pushed their win streak to 55 straight games. We just came out, played hard. We knew we weren't going to blow them out. We, we just came in here and we're like, we're not going to blow them out. So we just wanted to figure out what we could do to stop them, just to get a nice 10-point win or just a little win, just to get out of here with the state championship. And as you can see, that's exactly what we did. So we're more than blessed. In part two of our sports year in review, we'll have everything from softball to football. For TV6 Sports, I'm Ethan Schmidt.